Good morning, everybody. This is Karen Marks. All right, guys, look at this big tree behind me. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? Okay, so I'm wearing my shorts from Belk from Hilton Head Island. I love these shorts. And if you guys wonder, gosh, in almost every outdoor video, you're wearing the same thing, either the green shorts or the blue ones. That's because I have to be extremely comfortable when I'm outdoors. I don't want to have to think about what I'm wearing. I do accessorize, as you know. I always have to have matching. This is a turtle bracelet. Where's the turtle? Hold on. Oh, I can't find the turtle. Wait a minute. I can't see what I'm doing. Turtle bracelet from my friend Connie, um, who lived above us in Hilton Head Island, South Carolina, for six of her years, and I had a friend of the parrot. Um, hey, I just want to show you the background real fast. Isn't this absolutely gorgeous? This is... I've lost track how many times I've been on this trail. I've biked it once and walked with Freedom the Parrot a couple times in a walk with my friend Christine. And you've got these gorgeous, I think they're called Southern Live Oaks. So this is just at the beginning. This is called the, if you're local or you come down to Florida, Black Hammock Trailhead. I've got a mint in my mouth here. <laughs> Poor choice before doing a video. But um, here's the thing. I, I walk every single day, and I, I will walk again this afternoon with Freedom. It just gets too hot. Uh, right now it's about 1.30, but I normally walk with Freedom every single evening, but we're more, you know, we're strolling. We're not straining ourselves. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to walk today at least an hour, an hour and a half. So if you walk by yourself. Okay, now look. Cross, what is it called? Black Hammock Trailhead, but Cross Seminole trail and what it is i'm on okay let's see if i could hold this you see you got you got your road okay but this is strictly for bikers or 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 people running or biking and oh hi squirrel look we got a squirrel back here let me see if we can see him okay wait a minute i've got my prescription glasses on here where is the squirrel there he is hello squirrel so you've got a picnic area uh if you're biking let's see I can't, I can't tell what this is. I think this is a, yeah, you got all your tools for fixing bikes. You got a free pump for air. How cool is that? Right there. And, um, and then you got your restrooms right here. Here you go. So to get started, but walking is the easiest thing. And I think people blow off exercise way too much. It, it is my number one thing to do. And okay, look at this. When you get out in nature, you feel good. I mean, it is so gorgeous. So I'm in Oviedo, Florida, and there's lots of surrounding towns like Geneva, and I've hiked the Flagler Trail. There's Flagler Trail South, and then the Geneva Wilderness can get out to the river. I haven't done that long one. I've been to the Black Bear Wilderness area, and oh my God, I do have asthma. I've never had to take an inhaler, but, and it's not even that hot right now. I, I forgot to look at the temperature. It, this whole week, it's been like average of 101. Not kidding. There's, um, okay, these are cypress trees right here. But what I was going to tell you is, um, yeah, I'm going to have to start walking early in the morning because it does get so hot. But, oh, Black Bear Wilderness. I went there with Freedom one time out to the St. John's River. We just walked like an hour and a half. But, then by myself, I decide, oh, I think I'll walk 7.1 miles. It was crazy. It was wonderful for the first two hours. Then someone told me that had a dog that knew the area really well. She was like, oh, you have four more miles to go. And it was going to be dark in like an hour and a half. Are you kidding? And I started at 4 p.m. So by that point, it was almost 6 o'clock. And all I could think of is I, I, I'm screwed to the highest level. How, if I'm averaging two miles per hour... How was I going to walk? Remember, she told me four miles. She was actually off. It was only three three more to go. But how was I going to walk th three miles in an hour uh, and get back to the parking lot before they lock it up for the night? So that was that was a fun experience. Okay. You don't have a gym? You can come here and do all your little exercises. All right. Now, today, I'm going to show you this before anybody arrives. And people are always wondering, why do I do such short videos? Well, when you're in these public places, you it, you can't film kids. That's a tight rule on YouTube. So a lot of families live in the area. 
you don't want to show any people if you don't have permission to have them in the video and certainly not children um if Sony bikes by and I got the music blaring a lot of people like to ride around here with the radio on can't have copyrighted um music and I don't edit my videos except to add music if people are talking in the background but um I want to show you this here is a gazebo oh and I gotta show you which way we're going I'm already on the wrong trail hello okay see right here wait a minute so I'm gonna go to the winter springs one so I'm going off so we had our woo, just in case anyone's local here's your fitness equipment okay let me go back fork in the road which one to choose I'm going to the right and um what I like about this trail is it's a lot more shaded now right now where I'm walking it's not shady but then it'll turn into more shade and oh one more thing I know you guys are gonna laugh here comes some people on the bike and, and a kid all right I'm gonna have to sign off live have a great day